Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can simplify everything for creating a multiplayer game. So without any further ado, let's begin. So in last video I did ask is it okay to explain to you a step by a step this multiplayer game or not? And everybody said that it's okay. I hope you won't for, uh, regret your decision because I'm gonna show you everything a step by a step in detail how I did make a multiplayer game in Game Maker and Node.js. So you know that for creating a multiplayer game, it's getting messy too fast because you're doing it in two places. One is Node.js and one is Game Maker. And you're not just controlling one player. There may be 10 players at the time, right? So you should make everything as simple as possible, okay? So for sending the data, we create a socket, we connect it to our server and we create a buffer and in a step for sending a simple data like J or whatever, we say buffer seek, buffer write and network send UDP raw. And if we want to do this every time that we want to sync everything, it, it will get too messy. And sometimes you don't want to just send a character to the server. Like you did see in client project, we create again socket, we connect it and we create a buffer and we create a map and in a step we add the values that we want to send to server in our map, we convert it to JSON and after that we clear our map and after that we send it by this line of code. The receiving data was this messy. Everything is messy right now. It's not okay. If you want to do it like this, you can for a simple project with just 10 player for example, but when your project get bigger and bigger, I don't think that you can do it this way. You should make everything more simple. So I come up with this system that it works for me in PHP, in Node.js, in Unity, in Unreal Engine, in microcontroller, in C, in C++, in C Sharp, in everything. It works for me. And I think this is a way that all the pro is doing it. You know that my background is C for microcontrollers. And I work as a programmer for micro, a microcontroller. If you don't know what microcontroller is, don't mind it. It's not important for you. But when you come from that low level language to game maker language and Node.js language, you can make your life very much easier to use those skills. So I want to show you. First of all, I want to create a function for sending data. And let me show you in client, we send a JSON. But to be precise, we send a map. So we create a map, add value to it, and we convert it to JSON. So first of all, let's just create a function for sending a map. In here, I want to create an script. I want to call it SCR multiplayer or whatever you want to call it. You can call it SCR online. And the first function, because I want to send map to our server, we can say send map over UDP. It's self-explanatory. It doesn't need comment. So with this function, first of all, let's just copy and paste whatever we want. First of all, we need to create a socket, right? But where should we create it? Um, we can't create a new socket every time. At some point, we should destroy this socket, right? I want to show you a way to create this socket. And after the game is finished, destroy that socket. Just one socket for all the functionality for your multiplayer game. Just one socket. So for that, I'm, I want to create object, an object in here. I want to call it OBJ Global. Okay. And in this OBJ global, let's just add a create event in here. And I want to create this socket in here. Okay. So let's just copy and paste this. Cut it. It's better to cut it, right? So cut it in, uh, and paste it in this OBJ global. So all the variables that are global, I want to put, put it in this OBJ global. Okay. And whatever variable that I want to create in here, I want to make it global as well. And now we have the socket. Okay. So we have our socket. So let's just get back to this send map over UDP. Next is to connect this socket to our server. So let's just cut this line and put it in here. And you can see that it needs an IP and it needs a port. And for the socket, we can use just this global client. So let's just copy and paste this to here. Okay, so the IP. So let's just create an input for this function and call it IP and one for port. And instead of just hard coding this, we can use those variable in here. Okay, so port instead of this port. Next, it needs a buffer. So let's just cut this and put it in here. I want to create a local variable because this function, we want to use it everywhere. We should, when we create a variable in this function, we should declare it as a variable to be local to that object, right? So you can see this buffer create need a size. So let's just add a size to this input. input. 
and copy and paste it to both of these. So now we have the buffer. You can see that our create event in here is readable, okay? It's not a mess. Let's just go to this step function. Don't mind this for now. I want to use this line of code. Let's just cut it and paste it in here. And again, make this variable a local variable. I put in var in here. And in here, we need a data, okay? So for that, let's just add another input and call it data. So it, this function need, need us to give it a map, okay? So always we should create a map. But calling it data, it's not self-explanatory, okay? So let's just change the name of it to the map, okay? So everyone that want to use this function know that we should give it a map. And they know it from here, send map over UDP, and from the name of this variable in here you know that with this line of code we encode this map to the json we convert this map to the to a json and we put it in this variable so now we can delete this map so we say ds map destroy it, okay and let's just give it the id of this map so with this we won't have any optimization problem right and know that we have the data that we want to send we can send it so let's just cut this tree line in here and paste it in here this is indent these two line the buffer is okay player buffer everything is okay i think data json is okay this client should be changed to this global.client so let's just put, make it global in here we have the ip so let's just change this to ip change this to port player buffer is okay everything is okay so with this function we should be able to send data to our server right so let's just test it out we don't need this clear anymore because we destroy it let's just cut this and put it in this step event in here because we each time we delete we destroy this map we should create it again okay so with this line we create the map and with this line we add some value to it now we want to send this data we say send map or udp next first it wants an ip so let's just give it a local address that is this next it wa it wants a port next the size so let's just give it 100 next it needs a map that is in this case is this data that we create so all that we have done we can just delete this create for now now you can see that our code is much cleaner and it's easy to read and easy to develop right so let's just test it out we want to send data to port 8080 we send the x y and id of this so in here i want to say console.log and in here i want to show the message so we say a string msg so with this we show the message right so now that we have this let's just open up our terminal in here and run our server for that we say node test js okay so no our server is running let's just test to see if this is working or not run our game and it give us an error why because we didn't add this obj global to our room so what i want to do i want to add this obj global to our room and next thing i want to make it persistence with that everything should be okay our game is running and we are sending data to our server and you can see it it's working fine and you can see everything is okay and our code as simple as it can get right now let's just go to our server in our server i don't want to have two servers so let's just get rid of one we don't need this we don't need this we just want to use this port 8080 to do everything okay just this server is more than enough in the next video i will show you a system that we implement in both our server and our game maker with a state machine that make our life very much easier this video i don't want to make my videos too long to be boring right i, I could explain everything to you desimplifying everything to you in just one video but when the video taking too long and it gets like 20 minutes nobody watch it till the end and it make my channel to go down very fast and that's why i want to create a part two of this video for creating that state machine in both game maker and in server as well please if you want to help me hit that like button it's very much important to me and please leave a comment thank you very much for watching bye